I would say that that looks like a fish is hitting it. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a solid fish. Yeah, this one's a solid fish. I'm trying to gain on him and it's just ripping out drag. Welcome back to another beautiful day out on St. Croix in Michigan. I felt like going fishing today for some big fish. So we're gonna try and catch some big blue cats and then maybe even some walleye. And I think there's brook trout out here as well. We'll be starting at the fairy tale fishing dock over here. And that's a pretty good spot for some giant blue cats. I'm hoping we can either catch like our biggest trophy blue cat ever or maybe our first ever unique all right so i've been doing a little bit of uh, adjusting here and we have quite a few rods now this rod here will be for primarily smallmouth bass and then this will be for uh walleye we'll be using we're not gonna be using this daredevil spoon but we'll have that rod and then we're gonna have two rods here one with large minnows and the other one's gonna have uh cut bait and then I do have another one for potential musky, which I almost forgot about them. We'll throw out a shiner out there and see if we can't get lucky enough to get a big musky on that. But yeah, let's throw some out there and see what happens. So I'm set with a depth at 99 inches down and we're gonna cast right out to our little hot spot out there. Right off the corner of that dock, right out there. Beautiful spot and let's set our pole down. All right, we'll throw some cut bait out there and i mean who knows what's gonna bite on this but all right so we have two poles out there and now i want to throw out this shiner out there too just so we can see if we can maybe get a musky for us i think it's deep out there if i'm not mistaken okay we just hit the bottom okay we're definitely getting a hit on the left pole we're starting to get a hit it's been a while though we've been sitting here for quite a we got a fish on Oh, a nice fish too. And we got a hit at the same time. I think it's a bass. All right, we really need to get this thing in here quick. Oh, that's a nice fish. 17 inch small bass. But we really need to get this fish here. Fish on. There we go. Wow, this sucker's a long ways out there. This is a good fish. This is our first fish that we've had. Well, I mean, we just caught that one on, uh, where's he going actually? We caught the one uh, with our bass pole and then all of a sudden this fish hit. Well, it was actually biting before we caught that bass. So I knew we we're getting some action, but yeah, we actually might be able to get a double here. So that's kind of ooh, back off on that. Oh, pulling a little too hard. Got him pretty close. All right, we got him. First big fish in, and what is he gonna be? A 57 inch, 30 pound blue cat. So just a regular one, but still, not a bad way to start off our fishing trip here. That's a beautiful catfish. All right, let's keep him and the 1400 cash just for catching that one fish. What I love about this is sometimes you get to keep your minnow, which in this case, we still have our minnow here. So that's pretty awesome. Let's cast back out there. And that was so cool. We caught that nice smallmouth bass out on uh, on that crankbait out there. That was so cool. What I do want to do is test out grabbing these rods here. I think if I press shift first, then I can grab it. So let's try shift one. Okay. Now let's switch over. Put that back down. Let's try shift three. Okay. So it does work. We're not really getting much action on this pole. I'm hoping to get a muskie out here, but. All right, so we got three rods out there. Let's see if we can't catch some more bass or something decent, because action is quite a bit slower today than, than what I would expect at least, but happens sometimes, I guess. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's a uh, two. Gotta get the rod in though. Come on. You're kidding me. <laughs> it got off. Oh my gosh. We finally get some action. And I happen to have the rod all the way out there. <laughs> well, let's try that again. Kind of unfortunate, but. See, that's why I guess we should really only have two rods out here. Three is a little bit much. 
the fish just are not biting very good so far but the morning's early so might get better oh fish on i just sped up the speed here and all of a sudden we got a nice hit should be another bass this guy's fighting pretty hard yeah smallmouth New personal best smallmouth bass, 18.9 incher and a 3.4 pounder. That's pretty sweet. Let's take a look at that bass. Eh, decent sized bass. Okay, so we decided to change the time forward to 5 o'clock at night here, and I'm hoping that maybe they bite a little bit better now. Let's throw our poles back over here. I was already fishing for a walleye for the last like 30 minutes and couldn't even get a walleye, so I figured I might as well change the time and hopefully it works better. I don't know. So this rod's set with a shiner, but I want to put it back to a large minnow. Oh! Fish on! Oh, that's a big fish! Where is the big fish? He was actually pulling a lot of drag out, so we had to gain some back here. I think we're definitely getting a hit on the uh, other pull too, but... Wow! Changing the time makes such a big difference. Look at that pole bend. It would be honestly a miracle if we could get this fish in in time to be able to catch the other fish, but at this point, I just want to focus on getting one fish. Look at the head shakes on that pole, though. It'd be kind of cool if it was a big muskie, wouldn't it? I mean, a muskie could hit it. Nope, that's a catfish. That's definitely a catfish. Cool looking catfish. Just a blue catfish, kind of a small one actually, 38 incher and a 17 pound, but we'll take the 817 cash, which should be this one. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> I guess we don't even have time. Fish on! Wow. I was thinking of what to throw out there, but I didn't exactly know what. Uh, it's going to be another medium to small fish probably. You know they're big when they start running right away and... Once you get to like 100 feet of line out, then it seems like they're going to be... That's when they start breaking that 30 pound mark. 30, 40 pound mark. But when they come in this fast, then... I really don't think it's going to be that big. I'm trying to get a better view of them. Oh, here he is. That's a decent one, a little better. 48 inch, 24 pound. Just a regular one, but 1100 cash is pretty awesome. So yeah, we'll throw this back out there, and then I want to throw out, uh... Seems like this rod is definitely the primary rod right now at this point. So then I want to throw out, I think, a shiner. So we can maybe get a musky, which is what I was trying to grab last time. That's this one. Yeah, I would really like to be able to get a musky on this. I know they're out here. And if we can't get a musky, we should be able to get at least a northern pike. Which, that would be pretty awesome too. All right, so we'll have three rods out there. Let's grab this one, cast it back out there, because that always happens. It's like this rod, I can't even get it out there long enough to be able to uh, figure out what I want to do, and we just keep getting fish, which I'm not complaining at all. Oh, this is a solid fish. Yeah, this one's a solid fish. I'm trying to gain on him, and it's just ripping out drag. Oh, this is definitely a solid fish. So we turned the drag up a little bit more because he was starting to pull out a lot of line and we don't want to lose too much line on this fish, but still didn't get a chance to cast that other rod back out there yet. Come on. Yeah, see what I mean? He's staying at 100 feet out. That's how you know it's a solid fish. Potentially it could be a trophy. And it's a good thing we're not getting to buy any other poles because this guy is not coming in anytime soon. It's amazing how this bobber floated all the way next to the dock here though so fast. 80 feet out, so we're definitely gaining some ground on him. Yeah, he's coming in now. 
You tell he's getting a little more tired. Actually, what is he doing? I think it's going wild out there. I don't think this is a catfish. It is a catfish. But it looks like a monster catfish from what I can see. Uh, it's another good one. 56 inch or 30 pounder and 1400 cash, but not quite a trophy. I would say that that looks like a fish is hitting it. Oh yeah. Which one is it? I forgot which pole. I think it's this pole. Yes, it is this pole. <laughs> I couldn't tell which pole it was because the bobber was underwater. And, uh, well, yeah, the pole wasn't bent, so I didn't know which one. Ooh. Ooh. That's a good fish. Good thing we have 300 yards of line on this thing. Because that is a strong fish. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No. Oh, my God. This is a giant fish. This is an absolute giant fish, guys. <laughs> this is what we've been waiting for. Holy. Oh. I'm so glad we have so much line and yet this strong of a rod. But I want to keep an eye on the drag here because man, that fish was ripping out drag. You know, what's different about fishing versus hunting is you can see how big the animal is the whole time that you're out there hunting. When you're fishing, you literally have no clue what it is until you get it close to the boat. And even if it fights hard, that doesn't mean it's going to be a big fish. Well, it means it's going to be something big, but you don't even know if it's going to be whatever you're fishing for, basically. For all you know, it could be like a big carp and you're trying to catch a big walleye. So you could think you have like a 30 inch walleye on and then you just catch a, you know, 35 inch, 15 pound carp and it fights for, for like 20, 30 minutes to get that thing in sometimes. You know, if you have a walleye rod, like an ultralight or even like a light rod, if you hook onto a carp, <laughs> it's going to be one heck of a fight. So I really don't know what this might be. Oh, it came out of the water. Way out there. Almost like it was a muskie. That is cool. He's right on top of the water. And we can't quite see him, though. I would have to say, though, that this should be our biggest fish of the hunt. I mean, uh, of the of the trip. We're getting another fish here, but it's gonna have to wait because I'm not gonna risk losing this fish. That doesn't look like a catfish to me. It really doesn't look like a catfish to me. The fact that he pulled so hard and I never even saw him, whatever it is, we're pulling it up. It's a catfish, but what is it? That is not a catfish, that's a sturgeon. We just got a 55 inch lake sturgeon, a 40 pounder. We're about to lose the other fish, but I don't really care. We just got a sturgeon. That's so cool. Wow. First one. And uh, I guess we'll try and grab the rod here. Okay. Finally got off. That's all right. Yes. Did we catch something decent this time? This seems like a solid fish. It could be a good pike. Probably gonna be another smallmouth bass. It's another smallmouth bass. That's a walleye. Our first walleye of the day. 22 incher. Caught him on our catfish pole, so obviously he's not gonna fight too much, but Finally got a walleye on a shiner way out in the deep out here. We're like 99 inches down. We'll go down a little bit deeper now. 102. And throw it back out there again. Hey, at least we're finally catching some fish. I can't believe it, but this potentially could be a muskie. Wow. If it's not a muskie, it should be something nice. Either a pike or... I don't know. It's a walleye. It's a huge... Or is it a bass? It's a smallmouth bass. Another bass. I mean, I'm not complaining that we're catching fish, but I really want to catch something bigger. I thought throwing this big shiner out there, we'd be able to catch some muskie or northern, but 
I cannot buy a muskie or a northern pike right now. Anyways, that was a lot of fun fishing. And that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.